re-energized and ready for the trail again. So we spent the night in Twin Lakes and then most of today we just spent hanging out with a lot of the other three hikers which is really awesome. Around lunchtime we got some burgers and now we're back on trail. Wow, what a beautiful morning. Q-tips. Good morning. I think it's day 18 actually, but yeah, beautiful morning. We just started the collegiate yesterday, so making our way over Hope Pass now, and then getting into it. Really excited. It's already really beautiful. Absolutely do it. It's the beauty. Does not come across on camera. It's probably, oh man, two or three times more beautiful than any of the YouTube videos I've seen on the Colorado Trail. I'm just in awe. It's a great day. Just realized we're gonna hit mile 200 today at some point. Yeah, but for now, we're descending Hope Pass, and it is steep and brutal. So. Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me. I think that was a quail. Cool. Looks like it's gonna storm probably soon. But <laughs> I can't remember the last day it hasn't like rained on us. Seems just like this is just part of the Colorado Trail. Yeah, we have to do Lake Ann Pass next. Um, goes above tree line, so we'll probably just go to the edge of tree line and then wait until the storm passes. Started hailing on us. Yesterday we did a half day, but that half was very hard. So now, yeah, just a little slow. 
Chugging along still, so we'll see how far we get today. Set up camp. We did 12 miles a day. We didn't quite get to Lake Ann Pass or Lake Ann, but we're pretty close. So, yeah, pretty good day. So, I've done about 200 miles on the Colorado Trail, which is crazy to think about. It's raining and thundering for 19 days, and this is the first time we're, we decided to hike in it. So, I guess we've buddied it this far. It's been pretty good. Storms really aren't too bad here, just like every afternoon, and then they only last like maybe an hour or two. So it's not like they delay you by that much, and you can pretty easily predict them. So crossing a river, we couldn't find the path, and it just like dead ended into the wilderness. I looked at my GPS, we were way off trail, so went back to where we knew we were on trail and tried to figure out where we need to go. It was very confusing. It took about 10 minutes for us to figure it out. But yeah, something changed there. <laughs> and, uh, so there's a new path. Good morning. It's 3 a.m. We woke up at 1 a.m. and have been hiking for an hour now. Just like the first view we got to, saw a mountain lion, just the eyes and the white cheeks. So we backed off and then waited 10 minutes, went forward, still there. So we backed off. So we got some rocks, tried to throw them. It wasn't really moving, so we just kind of walked past, making a lot of noise. And the closest we got was maybe 40 feet, which is pretty crazy. Uh, and then I noticed a second pair of eyes. So that was pretty crazy. <laughs>
this morning. I know we woke up to a run of storms uh, coming in around noon to one, but man, what a treat this was. And that is the third peak of five today. Oh man, it's been incredibly beautiful. Fourth peak a while ago, currently climbing the fifth peak. We had to dodge crazy storms around us. But it's looking clear this way, so. Just did Summit 5, last one of the day. Found a little group that I've been sticking with. So it's been really fun. <laughs> and a cigarette. Yeah, but we did our biggest day yet, 18 miles. So, pretty awesome. This is day 21. We've been on the trail for three weeks. We are the last one to leave camp today. <laughs> we got up at 1 a.m. last night, or yesterday, um, and then hiked until 4 or 5, I think. It's a really long day. We deserved it. It's the latest day we've gotten up, so yeah, it's nice sleeping in. So many trees dead to that beetle. Someone told me that it only takes two trees to be infected by bark beetle to wipe out an entire forest, which is pretty crazy. I'd say about half of these trees are dead now. You can see the tree tried to fight against the bark beetle. Gorgeous. I've been hiking the past couple of hours on this old abandoned railroad and it's been really nice and flat. It's been great. But off to the trail now. We're halfway done with the trail. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we'll hold up under some trees. Marissa's over that group. 
but we're about to go above tree line and go over a pass and the pass is where the storm is so we might as well just stay here so seems like every day this is gonna happen <laughs> we're going to the left of that and it's starting to clear up we've been hearing dirt bikes all day or for at least for a couple hours I have no clue what's going on looks like an event though apparently it's just a well known biker rail called the Hancock Pass yeah. we've been hearing a lot about the butterfly hostel and just learned that we're maybe I don't know, 8 to 10 miles away from it. So, we're really excited. I'm just gonna book it and try to get there tonight, which is a whole day earlier than we thought we'd be able to get to Salida and then have a zero tomorrow, which will be really, really awesome. We really need it. So, yeah, let's see how it works. Okay, now we're closer. Clouds are still looking okay. I think we're just gonna gun it, go over before they turn sour. Well, it doesn't look too difficult. I notice that guy makes it a lot bigger. Well, that didn't work out. Just heard thunder. So we're gonna wait a couple minutes for the to pass. Looks like a storm is rolling in. So, I think we might go back to tree line because we're not in a great spot now. Well, things really took a turn. There's really dark skies. So, we're now going to lower ground and probably going to those trees over there. So, my mom ate a bunch of my trekking bowls. Well, we're doing it. Someone said. The other side of the pass was clearing up, so we're whew, charging up. Beautiful. Worth waiting out that storm. Not only are we doing two 18 mile days in a row, but we are booking it to the Butterfly Hostel. Really excited. Didn't know this was an option for today. And we are very ready for a shower and a rest, so yeah. We were just running through a lot of this. It looks like sumac, but I hope it's elderberry. I don't know. Got all over my legs. Hopefully I don't get a rash. But still booking it. This is the hiker's equivalent to a speed bump. Look at this. With the two mile road walk, we just did our first 20 mile day. It's getting late, it's getting dark, and we might also need a hitch. We don't know yet. So. Yeah, I'm supposed to follow butterfly signs, but we didn't see them. So now we're hiking along the highway. You can see the butterfly house over there. So close. I made it to the lodge. Might get some dinner there. It's a mile day, but it ends good. This is where we slept last night. There's my bunk and Marissa's.